So although we've been lofting, there's a few more changes we can make that will really customize our HVAC connector here. Let's get into it. In the last video, we covered making duct work that would go from a circular profile to a rectangular profile. But let's talk about some more options that we have because as you can tell, we start going immediately at an angle from the circle to the rectangle. And from the other view, it's even more prominent. We just immediately start off going at a certain angle and continue it down to our rectangle. And that may not be what we need. It, a very common feature that we want in our lofts is to go normal to the profile, come straight out here, and then curve down. Uh, so let's talk about how to do that. For this, we'll go into our tree and find our loft. I'll right click and edit the loft. And from here, there's this option to specify tangent. So let's do that. I click a checkbox here for sketch two, and you'll notice my loft changes slightly. And then I'll uh, select the box for sketch one as well. And our loft changes ever so slightly up here. We can adjust the magnitude. Maybe I can make this one and one. And you can tell we start off at an angle that's normal and then we quickly transition into our angle. And we can always increase our magnitude. I can go five and five if I wish to have a more extreme transition where things stay normal for a while before we go into our transition. So on both ends of our sketches and in all sketch profiles that we use, we have the option to specify a tangent magnitude. Now, I likewise can say maybe I want this magnitude to not be normal to the plane, but at an angle to the plane. If I put in a 10 here, you can tell this is starting to mess with our geometry a little bit, but we're coming out 10 degrees on each side. Let me turn my magnitude down here. And I can give this a magnitude or an angle rather of how about 30? And you can tell now we're flared out by 30 degrees and then we immediately transition into our rectangle after that. So we can play with the magnitude and angle to get a shape that we want, especially if we don't want our tangent magnitude to be completely normal in the direction of our sketch plane. For my purposes, I'm gonna keep my angle at zero. We also have this twist minimization option. For twist minimization, if I choose none, you can see that our loft is no longer symmetrical, but this edge seems to ride up and this edge does as well. And then over here, these edges seem to stay straight. This is because we have something known as different sketch elements or different numbers of sketch elements. For instance, a rectangle has four lines that it make that makes up a rectangle. A circle has only one element. And so where do the edges of these lines, where are they supposed to go onto the circle? It may not be particularly clear to the program, but for ease of use, twist minimization options are built in. So we can choose something like center of gravity, which is particularly useful if you want something to be symmetric. It helps to straighten up our uh, lofting profile immensely. We also have distance and angle. If you wish to have some more options, if center of gravity isn't exactly what you're looking for. I'll change this back to magnitude of five and say, okay. And I'll treat that as my transition between a circle and a rectangle. So those are some additional lofting options that I'm sure will come in handy as you make models in CAD. But I think there's one glaring problem with the model that we've made so far, and we're gonna fix it in the next video.